In the previous video, we learned how to use C code in our Swift projects. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can work with C++ without direct C++ interoperability. While we can't call C++ directly, we can utilize what we've learned in our last few videos to wrap C++ in Objective-C, which we can call. For the most part, OSX and iOS projects are mostly written in Swift, Objective-C, or C, which is part of the reason why Swift's team made interoperability with those languages easy to do. While direct interoperability with C++ is in Swift's future, it will not be making it into Swift 3. This is unfortunate because there's a lot of great C++ libraries and APIs out there that would enhance a Swift developer's toolset. So one might wonder why direct C++ interoperability was excluded in Swift. Direct interoperability with C++ is a big challenge because C++ itself is a very complex language. For the Swift team to provide interoperability in the way that they have with Objective-C and C would be a mammoth undertaking. There are two approaches to calling C++ code from Swift. The approach that we'll be using here is by simply using C++ code inside of an Objective-C++ file. The second approach is by wrapping C++ code in C and then calling the C code. I'll provide a walkthrough guide on this video's resource page for those interested in learning the second approach. So we'll start by creating a new Xcode project. We'll make another OSX command line tool and we'll name it hello from CPP and we'll click create. The first thing we're going to do is add a new Objective-C file to our application. We'll name this file hello from CPP as well and click create. We'll allow Xcode to create our bridging header for us. Next, we'll rename our file from hello from cpp.m to hello from cpp.mm, which turns our Objective C document into an Objective C document. Next, we'll add a new header file with the same name. I'll go ahead and paste in the interface for our implementation. So here we have an interface for our implementation called hello from cpp that contains one function that takes an ns string and returns void. Next, we'll open our hello from cpp.mm file and paste in the implementation. As we can see, we're importing our header file and then following our interface. We have an implementation of hello from cpp that contains one method named hello from cpp that takes an ns string and returns void. We can see that our hello from cpp method has some C++ code that simply prints the word hello, followed by the string that we pass in. The next step is to update our bridging header to import our new hello from cpp header file. And with that, we should be able to call our objective C++ method. Back in our main.swift file, simply add a new instance of hello from cpp, and then call the hello from cpp method from the instance and pass in whatever string you like. Build and run the application, and you'll see your message printed to the console. This is one way of working with C++ from Swift. Again, I'll share another way to do it on this video's resource page. In this video, we have seen how to incorporate C++ code in our Swift projects. In the next video, we'll look at a popular package manager called CocoaPods. We'll utilize CocoaPods to install a third-party library.